Well, inside this week in history, America's very first national monument was proclaimed during this week in 1906. Do you know what it is? If I had a half dozen guesses or more, I never would have come up with this. Take a look. I wouldn't be the only one racking my brain trying to figure it out, though. It drove Richard Dreyfus frantic in the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I'm seeing this shape. Damn it, I know this. I know what this is. It is Devil's Tower in Wyoming, one of the jewels of America's landscape and our first national monument. President Teddy Roosevelt made the proclamation in September 1906, the first time a piece of American land was protected by the federal government. This was 10 years before the National Park Service was even created. Devil's Tower stands almost three football fields high. The 50 million year old formation has become increasingly popular for climbers. In fact, many Native American leaders object to the climbing because the tower is considered sacred by several tribes, including the Kiowa, Lakota, and Cheyenne. Most climbers now stay away from the tower during the month of June when tribes conduct rituals. Art, the one thing you can't do when you climb to the top is camp out. Anyone who goes up has to come down that same day. A couple of things, Scott. First of all, yeah. you talk about the height of that monument. That's really big. But something else I want to talk about, you mentioned about the monument. I was thinking about landmarks such as the Washington Monument or the Statue of Liberty did not include this one. Yeah, you tend to think of those as national monuments. Uh, it gets confusing because some of those famous sites are national memorials. National monuments are mostly natural formations, but not all. Some are old forts. And the Statue of Liberty you mentioned, that's a national monument, but it wasn't dedicated until 20 years after Devil's Tower. Man, that is a great story. Scott, thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, appreciate it. Still ahead here at 4 o'clock. New research shows 